In this video, I'll show you how to create a static home page on your blog and then create a separate page for your post. As most of you know, the typical setup of a blog shows your post on the home page. So when a person visits your site, the first thing they will see will be the newest post that you posted on your blog. So this here, for example, the custom I know was posted on July 1st. That's the last thing I posted. And as a person scrolls down my blog, they see the older post underneath that. So on June 21st, I posted the WordPress 2.8 finding and installing themes. On June 13th, the upgrading uh, to 2.8 on May 8th, the basic WordPress theme editing and so forth. So each of these are post and that's what a person typically sees on a blog in the typical layout. And then the other major type content you have on the blog are these static pages that may show in the top or maybe in a list of pages in your sidebar depending on your theme. But here's a page then that a person could click on and get my premium WordPress support information. Uh, some people want to have their blog set up so that they will have a page that will always be the home page of their blog and then have another page that a person can click on to see the latest post that you would normally see on the home page of your blog. And that other page may be called updates or latest news or something like that. Essentially what you're doing when you set your blog up like that is you're just flipping the way WordPress works. Now you're taking WordPress and making it work more like the typical static website with a static home page and then a link that a person can click on to see your latest news and updates. So if I wanted to do that on this blog that's already established, for example, what I would do is log into my admin area and the first thing I would do is create a page for my post to show on. So on this page, I may call it Latest News. I don't need to fill out anything in the body of the, the page. I'm just going to put a title on this page and go ahead and publish it. So now all I've done, if I look back to the home page of my blog, is I've created a new page on my site called Latest News. If a person clicks on it, they see a blank page. There's nothing in it. So now I'm going to use that Latest News page as the place that holds my post that a person normally sees here and I'm going to set one of these other pages as my static home page. So for the purpose of this tutorial let's say I want the premium WordPress support to now be my home page and then the latest news page to be where these blog posts are stored. To do that I go back to my dashboard I'll go to settings and reading Click to make a static home page and then select for the front page the page you want to be that static page. I'm going to make my premium WordPress support page my static home page. And then for my post page, I'm going to select that latest news page that I created. Now here, the blog post to show on that latest news page works the same way as before. So I'm still going to show the 10 latest posts on that latest news page. Uh, and then click Save Changes. And that's it. Now I've essentially flipped the way my blog works. When a person visits my site now, they will always see the premium WordPress support page. If they click on the home here, that's what they get, premium WordPress support. If they click on latest news now, they see all my blog posts, just like they did on the home page before. So it's a really easy way to create a static home page for yourself on your blog if you want that constant information to show every time a person visits your blog and then to still have a way for a person to easily get to your blog post by creating a page and making that show your blog post. 